So today we are going to continue with part 5 of our complete application with Axon Framework and today we are going to be building the read model. As I told you before now, the read model is simply just like uh, the normal entities you save in a database. So let me start with uh, right clicking and just creating a Java class and this is going to be equivalent to so this will be the, the, the equivalent of the, the right model. In this case, I'm creating um, product. So but since the aggregate already has the name product, so we are going to give it a name product summary. And as usual, it's uh, just exactly what you already know before now. So I'm going to uh, add the necessary annotation. So we have the entity annotation because this is going to be stored in uh, in a conventional uh, database. So we are going to have a data annotation to help us add the getters and setter, uh, the getters and setters, and the equivalent hash code. Um, then we also need a no args constructor as well. Okay. So we need the 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 attributes. So we have private string. ID. Sometimes I copy and paste, sometimes I don't, but I recommend you actually copy and paste. Uh, you, you actually type it out by your hands. That is uh, a way to improve in your programming skills. So this is going to be in uh, stock. And the product will, will also have a description, which is going to be string uh, description. All right. Okay, so um, we need this uh, required args constructor. I can actually, uh, I don't really remember ex exactly why I did add it instead of using Lombok to add it because we can actually add something like at required args constructor right here. So, uh, for some reason, uh, I so either way, maybe we can just uh, remove this. It's, it's about the same with this one. All right, so this is fine. In case of product summary, which is the, the, the read model for product, this is fine. So let's now go to do the same for the write model. Actually, you can get it here, but I'm going to actually write it out by myself so that I can explain to you in uh, what has to do with the relationship between the other and the product. So I'm going to create the the read model calling it other summary. Um, so again, I'm going to give the necessary annotation. The first annotation is at entity annotation, and we also have our uh, at data annotation. Actually, at data, and then we have at no args no args constructor, and that's fine. Right, so um, for the other we have, let me just check in product summary to make sure everything is fine and everything is not fine because I actually need to add the uh, ID annotation here to specify that this is primary key. Um, so let's get back here. So I need the ID, which of course is a primary key. I need it to be uh, UUID. UID ID. We also need the price. Uh, the price is going to be double. And we need the number of items uh, being ordered is going to be integer. Uh, integer. Uh, private integer uh, number of items being ordered. Let's leave it as numbers. Now comes where it's really very important. I need you to pay real attention to this part. Now we need uh, a relationship between the products and the other. So we are, we are now we are now going to add a field uh, which is the product summary which this order with this order right now uh, relates to it. So I'm going to say private product summary 
product or let's call it product summary summary all right so it means that this product summary uh, refers to the particular product summary uh, which this order is played is placed for so we need a relationship here and that relationship is going to be uh, one order to many products so I'm going to say at one to many at one to many that is fine one other many products one other many products or one product many others right let me just get it right yeah many one other many products one other many products or one product many others many products one other so many many to one sometimes this can be a bit confusing so we have uh, different orders can be placed for one product I think that is so many other many others to one product so many is this class we are working with right now and one is the attribute right here we also need to specify the join column because when you uh, implement a relationship in hibernate uh, we have a join column that has to be specified and that join column is normally uh, something like product ID in relational database it is called is something like um, uh, foreign key and in this case we specify it as private uh, string product now I'm trying to uh, use everything to be lowercase and that is the way I do it it, it makes it clearer to me because normally when you use uh, something like this then hibernate is not going to actually um, uh, uh, try to create uh, another uh, another uh, another field pro uh, from it so if I use product ID like this now hibernate is going to understand that this is product and this is product ID and it's going to try to to create another field but this is fine so to now tell Hibernate that I'm using this as a, a as a as a join column, I need to specify the add join column annotation right here, saying that the join column is going to be the product ID. So let me just say a uh, join column and specify the name of the join column to be to be product ID. So the join column is actually this one, right? And we also need to specify that this is insertable to be false and updatable to be false. So this has to be managed by from the product. So this ID is the ID of the, 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 the product or the product summary we are working with at this point. Right, so I'm going to now import the class for the UUID from here. Um, let me see, I think... We also need the required axe constructor here. Uh, required axe constructor to save us a bit of typing. Uh, at required axe constructor. Okay, fine. So I think we are done with our read and write models at this time. So the next thing we are going to be now working with, we are going to start working with our queries. I'm going to be stopping here for now. I would like to recommend you subscribe to my channel. If you have some challenges, please do let me know in the comment section below. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.